Ms. Barrow, this is sort of an interesting case. You purchased a dog from Miss McLeod. Yes, Your Honor. You found Miss McLeod on the internet. Yes, I did. When? About January 30th. And you were looking for a dog because? I uh, was looking for a dog for a companion, number one. I also have mental disorders um, that I've been battling since I was 15, um, including agoraphobia, which is essentially homebound. Mm -hmm. And I was looking to train this dog and have her certified as an animal that would allow me to go into public and uh, interact with people and... Um, had you had a dog before? And so on. I did. Uh, she passed away five years ago, and it had taken me this long to find the right one. Who and is this lady? This is my mother. I assume you wanted a smaller dog? Yes. I, I am a Boston Terrier breed lover. I, I hate to be is like that, that, but yes. And is that what you found? Is that what the defendant She was had? a Boston Terrier uh, slash French Bulldog. Do you have a photograph? Yeah. I do. May I see it, please? This was not the ad that you saw at first. No, I do have a picture of the ad, which I'd I like to fell see in love with, yes. I didn't have a picture of... Like that big. That is the picture that was in the ad. Thank you. You can return this to Miss Bauer. So, Miss McLeod, this is what happened. You found this dog. Correct. And you found this dog when? I found Cookie in the middle of July. Someone basically left her in the, the streets. Nobody claimed her. You don't know that. Where did you find her? You tell me where you found her. She was thrown in the streets pretty much in the middle of Port St. John. Is that a high... A high it's a residential area. And according to your answer to her complaint, you took the dog to the vet. Yes. And when you took the dog to the vet to have the dog spayed, because mm. did you have it spayed? It needed shots? No, we did shots first. Just shots. And that's when I first had her, them check for a chip. There was no chip shown. Did you later find the dog had a chip? Yes, when I brought her to the SPCA, their machine picked it up. And you took her to the ASPCA for what? For her flea medicines and preventative. So when you took her to the ASPCA, they did scan her and found a chip? Yes, ma'am. And in what month was that? That was in September. So you had already had her July and August, so for about two months? Yes. Yeah. Did you contact the owner, or did the ASPCA that you know of? The SPCA found the owner. The owner contacted me. She said she was coming. She contacted you by phone? Yes, ma'am. So you gave the people at the ASPCA your phone number? Yes, ma'am. And that was in September? Yes, ma'am. And you gave the owner the correct address? Yes. Yes, she had all my information. When was she supposed to come to pick she up? She didn't give a date. She didn't, nothing. It was just basically, she's coming from Mississippi. If she don't come, she's sending her brother. Where do you live? In Titusville. Where is that? Florida. The owner lived in Mississippi? Yes, ma'am. Did she know how the dog got to, to you in Florida? The story was her father or somebody was dying, so she was in town the July 4th weekend. The dog got out, and it was missing at the end of July. I'd had her since the kind of middle, beginning of July. But then she's back in Mississippi when Correct. she contacted you, and she said she was coming, but she never came. Correct. Then due to circumstances where you couldn't keep the dog anymore because of housing. Yes you decided that you would put an ad up. Correct. And all you wanted was the money that you had invested in her shots or anything else, so $200. Not even that. Well, you charged her $200 for the dog. Right. And you purchased the dog in January. Uh, February 3rd. February 3rd. That's right. For $200. For $200.